What is up, guys and girls? This is a random game here. I am back. I'm in X Plane as a, again. So you're my main simulator now, um, and I'm in the Jar Design A320 Neo. It's such a lovely aircraft. I'd recommend buying it. Um, today I'm going to be doing. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> today I'm going to be doing, doing a tutorial on how to start this thing. I mean, when I got this, I had trouble had to watch a couple of tutorials of how to get it going, and now it's just so easy to do. Um, so, right, let's get on with it. So when you spawn in, it's going to be all dark like this. And you park, so you're going to put your parking brake on. Like that, there you go. See, so I put mine on because I recorded this video a while ago and I forgot to uh, turn it off. Okay, then you come up here. Underneath the pumps should be a bat 1 and 2. You're going to click them on. Okay. And if you want external power, what we're going to do, we're going to go on to this little bit around here. Click that down. We're going to go on to ground. And then click ground power. And then you'll hear it will start a little diesel engine. Okay, you hear it chugging along. Okay, and then this thing should, uh, in a minute, it should say Anvil. There we go. See it saying Anvil. We're going to click it. And it's on. We've got ground power. Okay. Right, so once we're in here, we're going to uh, put our pumps on. So we're going to click pump, 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 pump. Okay. We're going to put our cockpit here um, to auto cabin to auto you put it on auto by putting it on the green dot and then that to auto ok we put our packs on ok that's just the uh, add, this is the like turn the air column pretty much packs are right uh, come over here we're going to turn our seatbelt sides on ok and we're going to arm the exits you do this when you're about to taxi we're going to put our uh, that on bright, we're going to put that on dim, we're going to put that on. And you can turn your lights on here as well. Uh, wait, there we go. See. Okay. We're going to put our beacon on. If I can get it. There we go. Beacon's on. As we just hear the um, aircraft, let me just turn that down. Okay, we'll go for a checklist. Not checklist, sorry, a. Um, the startup. Uh, safety brief. Okay, we're gonna come up here, and you see, you'll see these um, three switches here. You're gonna uh, put them onto nav. So click one, and go align and on bat. You'll wait for the on bat. To, you don't have to, but it's best to wait for the on bat to go off. There you go. Do it again. The on bat, and then the on bat. Okay, then you're gonna put this little thing on one. So you get some lines going across. Then you're going to put this on ST, um, STS. And it should say STS enter position. You can click enter. And it'll do that with 7 minutes to litter lines. And there's one thing I forgot to do. Which is... Um, oh no, I, that's, sorry, that's in the, I'm used to find, I've been found the 7.5 I have. And this aircraft don't have it. It's like a battery thing. But, um, okay, this aircraft don't have it, so it's fine. And now you come down here, your display should be on. Like so. At this point now you'd set up your um, MCDU. So we're going to use the arrow keys and the uh, period key <laughs> to come over to here. And then we're going to pretty much start this. So we're going to go to init. Okay. And we're going from thingy. So this way you type in your uh, airport code. And I do not know what SCAFOS is so I'm just going to get that now. So it's LGSK. Okay. So we're going to type it L G um, and then S and then OK. Then we're going to just got a slash. We're going to put a slash here. OK. This is like the Aerosoft uh, FMC. Or the, or the Airbus, the same pretty much. So, OK. And we're going to slash. And for instance, we want to go to Gatwick. So we're going to put E, a G, and a KK in there. Like that. OK. Then we're going to click that in there. And then we can see here, we're going to click Align IRS. Go down. OK. Code route. Um, that'll be another tutorial, probably. OK. Flight number. We're just going to. We're at Thomas Cook, so I'm just going to do TCX, T, um, C, X, and then I'm going to do 6 to 8. I'm always 6 to 8. Cost index, it depends what airline you're with. Uh, I believe Thomas Cook uses about like 25 or something. Pretty sure it's just like 40 odd. Uh, cruise altitude, we want to be at flight level for this flight. We're going to be at 340, which is 34,000 feet. Okay. Then you go to here and you can just click that button to get your thing there. The block fuel for this, um, you just click it again, you've got the block fuel, it's quite handy. 
Okay, and once you've done that, you're in it. You go to your flight plan, and this is where you do flight plans. So you're gonna first you're gonna click on LGSK, and I want to take off runway two, and I want to use the Coro One Bravo. Air traffic control will give you this. Okay, and now what we want to do, you're gonna get your route. Okay, so you got your top of climb and top of descent. So you want your route to be just after uh, this one, I believe. So what we're gonna do. For instance, I want to put a route. Uh, I don't know what routes are going to be. For instance, if I had to do, I don't know, uh, co nab. I'm just going to. I don't know if that's a route. Co nab, like that. I'd get that, and now I'd click it here. So that's not that's not a route. Okay. So you just get your route and you just click on this one, I believe. Let me just do DCT. Oh God, flight back, flight back. DCT is direct. Uh, DC. Oh God, D. D. Um, C, T, okay, and then we're going to click here. Nope. Okay. D. <laughs> um, C, T. Okay, you can't do D C T. Let me just quickly get a route up, and then um, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. I've got a roof. I use Simbrief. I'd recommend that. Uh, link in the description. Simbrief.com. You have to create an account and whatnot, but it's good. It's very, very good. Okay, so my first route is going to be Mava. Okay, M A V A R. I think that's right. Mava. Yep. And then I think I click here. Yeah. See. Put it after top of the climb. Okay. So after that one, I go top of the climb, and then I go to Mava. And then from Mava, I've got a airway, so I'm going to click on it like that. Okay. And go to Airways. And now I'm going to type in UN146, which is after my MAVA. So I've got MAVA here, then it goes to UN146, then it goes to BEDAC. BEDAC. Uh, the UN146 is the airway, which is on that waypoint between MAVA and uh, BEDAC. I'll be on UN146. Um, it just helps air traffic. It just helps with routes, so not going direct. It just makes it more precise for air traffic controllers as well. So I'm going to type in UN146. So that's a U N one four six. There we go. We're gonna click that in there. And then we wanna go two, which is B DAC. So we're gonna do uh B oh god no, we've done two. So B D A K B DAC and then there. Okay, then we got to flight plan. And so if we go down, we have Maver and the that one. UN146, which is there, goes to BDAC. Okay? And then from there, of course, we'll click on BDAC, Airways. You don't have to do the Airways, you can just uh, do what we did before. I'll just show you about an Airway. Right, do it, you do the Airways, which the next one is UL608, and then that'll be to KTP, and then vice versa. If you don't want to add the Airway, you can just go back to Flight Plan, um, BDAC, and I want to go straight to KPT. So I'm going to type in K, um, P, and then I'm going to click on BDAC. You always, if you want to add the route, you always click on the one there, and it'll put it beneath. Okay, click there, it will put it um, on the one beneath that one, so it won't be bright. Okay, so that's that. Once you've done that, you can click on here, and then get your arrival for two six left. I'm going to say, and it wants me to use the my route sim. Uh, uh, brief tells you the correct um, style you should use, and it wants me to use the Timber. See, there you go. Timber. Uh, free Bravo. It wants me to use. So that Timber Free Bravo. I'm going to put that in. Ignore. You can use them if you want, but never do that. Okay. Once you've done this, you go into Perf here. This Perf button. And then you got this. So you're going to click here. So your V1 is going to be 132. Your V2 is going to be 134. And your V uh, sorry, rotate, and then your V2 is 515. 151, sorry. Ignore the telephone in the background. Okay, and then you're going to do your direct to flux temperature. Um, two flaps. You can put one flap in there if you want. Like that. And then this one, you just put F, and then 50. Oh, God, not F1. Um, F50. Um, there you go. And then you're on to the next phase. I oh, saw this uh, stuff. You can just go for this, and then you can go to the next phase. Next phase, yeah. You get put your Q and H in there, 
your temperatures, your wind and whatnot. Uh, never bother that. Or you can always watch uh, this is the Atis. Then you got your flaps. Your, uh, your flaps. You put uh, flap one up at 144. Slats up at uh, 183, and then clean at uh, 206. Okay, um, and that is pretty much it for the FMC. It's simple. Okay, once we've done that, we can turn these on. Please don't bug out. There we go. Sometimes you can get a bug where you don't turn on. You have to restart. Uh, look, I didn't get that. Okay. See, that is just your um, comms. So you can talk to every traffic control. You put frequencies in there. And then you have your um, squawk here. If I want to get, uh, no, I'm going to squawk merge. So I'm going to do seven seven zero zero like that. And then I'm going to put that onto there onto TRA on takeoff. Come stand by and then down on takeoff. And then you click ident. There you go. So I traffic control can uh, see. You. Right now we're on to the engine start. So what we're going to do? We're going to turn the APU on. So let me put the sound back on. There we go. Okay, and then we're going to click APU master. Yep. And then we go to the start. Okay, and then we're going to come down here to our ecams, and then we're going to watch this. There goes coming up. Okay. Wait for it to stabilize. Wait for the anvil. It's really a landfill that pops up there. There you go, anvil oh, pops up there. Which means we can put APU generators on, which is right underneath the Ford cabin. There, APU bleed, sorry. Okay. Right, now we're gonna we're gonna disconnect our ground power. So we're gonna come up here, disconnect it by clicking the exit power again. And then go to ground and then turn it off. Like so. You can go for the checklist here if you want, which will tell you if you're ready to take off. It's gonna close our doors by clicking the door page. You can get a tow as well, so we're gonna call the tow. Now yeah, we'll call the tow, okay? You call it like so. Okay. You can get another thingy. There will be a seven five seven tutorial coming up pretty soon. Right, let's turn her down again. Stupid flight attendant. Right. Uh, okay, so, see it says aligned up there, just double check. And then this should be all green and whatnot. There's our route, so we're going to take off. We're going to take us round and then take us up. So I'll do the takeoff. Okay. So what we're going to do, let's get out of this. Okay, there we go. Right, just double check everything. Okay. Right. So now what we should have to do is come to here. I'm going to put that on start, so we're going to drag it this way once. Okay. Right. Okay. And now we're going to click, click it and drag it up. Let's say start an engine two. And if I've done this right, there you go. It should start moving. Point one. And if I turn this up, you should be able to hear the sound of the engines. It's coming up, and two's coming up, and one's coming up. Make sure your throttles are on idle as well. Okay, engine one is stable. So we're going to put engine, sorry, engine two is stable. We're going to put engine one on now. You put engine two on so you can get hydraulics, I believe. I think that's right. Okay, I'm going to check our engine one. See, engine one will start a bit quicker. I don't know why engine one's gone all the way up there and engine two hasn't. Oh, maybe because it's stable. I don't know. Then what we that? We're going to put our generators on. Oh, let's turn packs off. Sorry, we're supposed to turn packs off. My bad. Remember to turn packs off before you start the engines because they drain a lot of power. Okay. So now we're going to put our, our generators are on already. Okay. Right. Yeah. Sorry, that did work. come back down now. Okay. Right, engines are stabilized at 330. We can put our packs back on now. Okay. Right now we can turn our APU bleed off and our APU master. Okay, engines are still on. Right. Guess that engine started. Okay, we're going to double check. We're going to uh, test our control surfaces. So we're going to uh, get the control surface page up, which I think is that. Oh, nope. I will get that. Uh, hydraulics. 
Uh, we don't know all. Um, I can't find it. There we go. Hydro. It's um flight control there. So, right. So we're gonna come here. We're gonna do a full up. Make sure they go to the top. Full down. Go all the way down. Full left. Full right. And then ruddles. Full left. See. And then full right. Okay. Right now we're gonna get ready to do the um toe. So I'm gonna go outside for this because the toe on this is really really awkward like really awkward so what we're going to do I'm going to um, go back to the toe and I'm going to make a go right okay and then we're going to click go probably wasn't the best thing to do going right and I'm just going to stop it <laughs> just so it don't put it on the grass yeah, you have to go back and right and left. It's really, really hard to do. And then we're going to say, bye-bye, Toe. And he'll lower the aircraft down and drive off. Let's go back inside. Oh, it's a nice warm cabin. Right. As you can see him driving away there. So you can put window blinds up if you want as well. Right, so then we're going to flaps one. That's what we want to take off. We should really use flaps two for this runway, but... Meh. Should be fine. Okay, we're going to set a cruise altitude to 140. Sorry, uh, 340. Okay. Right. Okay, I think we're ready now. Right, ready to start taxiing. So we're going to test our brakes. Left brake, right brake. Both together. Just turn to park brake off. We're going to add slight throttles. And don't taxi more than... um. 20 knots, really. Okay, so we're going to start taxiing. I'll be back once I was taxied to the end of the runway. While I'm taxiing, um, I forgot to do one thing, which was turn this on to logo, nav and logo on, um, white lights on, and put this on to taxi. This one here, which is the middle one to taxi, not take off. Okay, and you can turn your uh, AP off like when we did at the gate, or you can turn it off at the end of the runway. It don't really matter. As long as you've got your engines on, it should be fine. And to refuel this aircraft, you can refuel through the actual proper ground yeah. thing, which I'll show you to do that in a sec. If I can. Oh, did learn the message from Jacob. <laughs> um, okay. So I'm just going to come around here, I'm just going to turn around this little bit, the turnaround thing, and I'm going to stop um, at the end of the runway. Just quickly show you how to refuel. Right, I'm just going to stop here. Back and break on. Okay, so what you can do, you can go up here to aircraft, and then wait and fuel. At the moment I've got 30 minutes of fuel left, so I can I've dragged it up to... Um, See, so then let me change it because my engine's on. But, you would drag it up to, I don't know... 11, no, like 6 or 5. For this flight, I'd want to drag up to like about 3 hours, 3 and a half hours, but it's not letting me do that because I've got back and brakes set. So, uh, sorry, engines on. We can go to ground and you can call the fuel truck like that. It'll come. <laughs> Actually, we're ready to take off. Oh, God. So bad. But, yeah. So he'll come, he'll bring his hose up. You should insert into the wing. There we go. Okay, so now what you're going to do is this little thing pop up. You're going to increase fuel. For instance, this is in kilograms. So I want 8,000 kilograms. I'm going to cl click that button there. And it's loading it. Okay. As you do. So I'm going to decrease that number then. To like... Oh, that fuel's too low. So I'm going to go to a 7. Okay, and then once that's done. Okay, it's asking me to say that's way too low. Let's refuel it again to 15. Ah, as it's doing that, we can just go back inside, we can. Double check the ca uh, cockpit. Make sure flaps are set. 
Um, spoilers are off. Okay. Make you if you had no air traffic control, you'd put this on one two two decimal. Also, you need to click this here. This, but so I another thing I forgot. When this turns on. You need to click this VHF. There we go. And now we're going to put one two two decimal eight in here. So make that one two two. Oh no! Wait. Oh, little one. There we go. One two two decimal eight. You want? Come on. Come on. When the little when the uh, Okay, I'm going to have to go through this again. Uh, just a bit thing. Right, our fuel is done. Um, put this on. Ah, oh, for God's sake. Right. There you go. Want to and you click this little button to change it over. Right. Okay, here we go. So we're going to get rid of the fuel trick and then get rid of that. Get rid of the tow thing. Right, now we are ready for takeoff, so we're going to release the parking brake. Okay. Um, and then we're going to start going forward. We're going to arm the auto throttles. It'll do it all manually for us. Okay. Got a bit steep, actually. Right, so runway two, double check, see. It's going to take us off and then we're going to turn. I like to fly the SID manually, um, but you can put autopilot on. I'll show you. I'll do the autopilot once I get out of the SID. So I'm going to zoom in with this little thing here. You can zoom in by dragging it. Uh, there we go. I'm going to be on 10 mile radius, which means this is 10 miles. Okay, we're going to take off. So we're going to slowly advance the throttles. Uh, put this on engine. Make sure they're going up evenly. And there we go. Power set. It's a bit buggy, but so I have throttle set up weirdly. But set a bit buggy. Okay, we're going to monitor here. While she's now really pedals keeps in the middle. Oh god. See, we have our V, we have our V1 here, and our rotate is the circle. So V1. Then rotate. <laughs> it's pushed it a bit close, actually. Then we're going to give a bit of up trim. Positive climb. Then you put your gear up by pressing G. Speed, speed, speed. Okay. Okay. Right, we're airborne now. Speed, speed, speed. So you get that speed alarm if you're going too slow, which is very good. Okay, so we're going to make a nice turn here. Flaps up one. Okay oh no, it's not turn. Guess apparently not. <laughs> so you can see we're starting a nice turn into the SID now. As we depart, I'm Skephos. Speed is not okay for next flaps position. Standard Vero cross check. Passing flight level zero two zero. Speed is not okay for next flaps position. Okay. Whilst I'm here, okay, I'm going to do autopilot for you now. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to put um, autopilot one on here, and then we're going to click inside, click here, like that, and then we're going to click this button, and we're going to drag that up. We're going to click that and then drag it up to about we want about 2,000 feet a minute. Plenty of speed. And then what we're going to do, we're going to click here click here again and then we're going to put our throttles down to here and it should say climb thrust levers throttle climb okay which means our auto speed on flaps up all the way now okay when you put flaps up it goes weird like that right we can probably climb out a bit steeper actually so we're going to go let's go up to 2.5 right to put the um, auto on you're going to click here like that there you go 
make sure you don't click this side, make sure you click the right side of it. Make sure you always click the right side for the autopilot. Okay. See, now it's turning us on our thingy. We can go outside. For as we go off to Gatwick. Okay. Wow, I'd like to thank you guys for, and girls for watching. I hope this has helped you on your way. Uh, when you're airborne, you can have land lights on. I forgot to put them on. You're supposed to put land lights on. <laughs> so I ain't supposed to put it on to take off. You can have that. You can have strobe on if it's, if you want. If it's dark, these are for when you land. You turn them off when you go off the runway. You have all your lights here still. You can put your dome lights on bright if you want. Uh, you can turn your see about signs off. Um. And then once you've done all this, then you're stuck with the boring bit. <laughs> I've sat here for like three and a half hours <laughs> until you get to Gatwick. Um, you do have weather radar and stuff which you can use. I don't know how to use it though. Okay, that's apparently disconnected my autopilot. So, don't touch that. What the hell is happening? <laughs> oh, I know. It's because I went up, went too slow. What the hell is happening? <laughs> wow, I'd never done this before. Come on. Wow, on that bombshell. Okay, that bug bugged out a bit there. First, leave it back to climb. <laughs> Wow, that was slightly weird. I'm back on track again now. Okay, well, thank you guys and girls for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe. And don't mess with that. <laughs> right, bye.